Hey guys, Kristen here from Hammock Haven Farm. And when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. When life gives you rain, like I talked about in our last video, you go pick mushrooms. So we're out to pick dinner. Um, and this time of year around here, we get a whole lot of chanterelle mushrooms, mostly. And uh, we're gonna go scout some out. Come on. Let me first say that I am not an expert. I'm not telling you to go out and eat mushrooms, pick mushrooms. I spent a lot of years researching some varieties that are really easy to recognize, safe and delicious, and making sure that I know what I'm looking at. Um, so don't take my word on it. Um, do your own research. But here we are with a whole big patch of uh, chanterelles. And there are several different varieties of chanterelles, of just these orange ones. Um, these are more ferny. There are some that have more of a cap on them. Some that, uh, We'll come across some other ones, I'm sure, in this. So I don't know the difference between all of them. I just know they're all chanterelles. Um, chanterelles have false gills, not real gills up under here. And when you break them open, they're white on the inside. They also have like a, I don't know, kind of citrusy smell to them. So that's what you'd be looking for. Some of these are a little past prime. And I think they'll work out just fine for our dinner if we sort through and pick the best here. Now I've heard a lot of people say don't pull them up by the roots. It does not make a difference. These grow with mycelium underneath the soil and so pulling the fruiting body out is not going to affect the whole organism in general. Chanterelles grow mostly on hillsides, shady hillsides under hardwood trees. These guys are itty bitty, but they sure do pack some punch. These are called black trumpets, and they are in the chanterelle family, and they have so much flavor. Now, they're always really small. These are kind of still growing here, but these have more flavor than all the other ones combined. I'm gonna pick a few of these, and we'll go on down the hillside and see if there's a patch that's a little bigger. Here are some better trumpets here that are a little bigger. They're completely hollow. You can actually see all the way through the middle of them. This might be about the best we're gonna get of these today, but like I said, a little bit of these go a long way. They sure pack a flavor punch. These are getting a little past their prime kind of dirty. I usually find black trumpets on this particular hillside. They don't seem to grow where the orange chanterelles grow. Um, I've never found them mixed together, so I guess they're mycelium compete or something, but this is my one little spot to get them. And a little farther down the hill right here, right behind me, you see all these bright orange? These are cinnabar chanterelles. And these don't quite have the flavor that the orange ones do, and definitely not the flavor that the black ones do, but they just make a really pretty garnish when mixed with everything else. Get in here. You might notice that I'm wearing boots and watching very carefully where I put my hands. We have several different varieties of um, venomous snakes around here, as well as poison ivy, and I don't want to get into any of it, so one of the hazards of mushroom hunting. That and bugs. We have no idea what these are, but aren't they cute? Little bitty mushrooms. Before we wrap this up, I wanted to give you some up-close looks at some of these. A couple of these are past their prime, but I picked a few so you could get a, an idea of the different variety of shapes and sizes that the chanterelles come in. Uh, everything from this one, which is bigger than my hand, really has that ferny vase shape. And this is what I was talking about with false gills. Hope you can see that. I mean, it sort of has gills, but they're not real gills. Um, then we get all the way this one that almost looks like it's got a cap on it. But if you flip it over, it's still got that vase shape and the false gills. And then I had one this one here has a little more gill to it. And you'll actually see some other ones that have a little more gill looking to it, but it's not, still not a true gill. 
And another thing on these, um, if you break them open, this one's got stuff climbing in it, but you see how it's white on the inside? So that's what you're looking for there. These are a couple of the black trumpets we found, and these are about as big as these get. Um, and they're gonna be completely hollow through the middle. Absolutely delicious, and here's a little bitty baby one. You'll find a lot more this size than you will this size. And let's see, and this is one of the cinnabar chanterelles. And these have a little more gill to them, and sometimes you'll find these orange ones with gills that look more like these. See, it, it actually shows a little more. These are actually orange all the way through, see. Well, now it's time for us to go cook dinner. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, give us a like. Please subscribe and share. It really helps us out a lot. Have a great afternoon.